Good morning, you're watching The Football Show. Stephen Gerrard, the Rangers manager, is our special guest. And of course, he's a former Liverpool teammate of Jamie Redknapp and Jamie Carragher as well. We're hearing shortly some of the players that uh, helped Stephen Gerrard fall in love with football. But Jamie Carragher, I wanted to start with you. I I've seen around social media people picking their world 1-11s, to but it's not quite as mm -hmm. straightforward as that. You've been doing this with some interesting rules, a twist. See if you can explain it for us. No, it was so, some, someone sent it to me. Dad's really basically picking the, the word eleven since since you've uh, what, what you've seen with your own eyes, so not players before you were born, and you can't have any player from or two players from the same country or the same club. So you, you think of certain players you, you've played for all the great clubs like Barca, Real Madrid, maybe one of the Italian giants. You think of Ronaldo from it, the Brazilian Ronaldo. It's it's a nightmare. You can't get him in because he's played with too many clubs. So it makes it a lot harder than just saying that's my world eleven. So a lot more thought has to go into it. So it's something that actually takes a couple of hours, really, because there's always a team, a player who uh, you've picked has played for that you, you forget, and it's it's linked with someone else. So as I said, it's a lot uh, it's a lot more difficult and challenging, I think, than just picking you know the best players you've seen. So only one from each country and, and one from each club as well, or they can't have played for um, the same club. So this is what you've gone with. So what, who you obviously got Steven Gerrard in your midfield. Good to see that. Um, well, the way, the way I did it was there was four or five only. players that had to be in this team. So Berezi just went straight in, Stevie hmm. went in, and Messi went in. So that, that was and, and the goalkeeper, Southall, really, because I knew I wouldn't have to change that because there was not going to be any more Everton players in it. Or uh, Wales players in it, uh, to be honest. So, uh, so I had those four, and then worked around, and then there was a lot of chopping and changing. Mateus was in uh, at one stage. I wanted to try and get Ian Robin in as well. I couldn't quite get him in. Uh, I had to change. I had Zidane in as well at one stage. So it was a lot of uh, chopping and changing and working out to play for different teams. But I think I finally got there really and got the, the four or five I wanted in there, and then had to uh, put a few other legends in there around them. So, Stephen, I believe you've so had a go at this as well. I would have thought you'd have been sick of picking teams. I thought you'd have enjoyed the break from it. Yeah, I know, but Jamie sent me the challenge. And um, what I will say is it took me more than a couple of hours. I was stewing on this for a couple of nights <laughs> um, because I, I, I felt like I had a team and I was happy with it and I had Zidane in it and I had Carlos in it and Berezi in it. And then you get a text off Carlos saying, no, no, that's wrong. They played together here, there and everywhere. So... It's actually more challenging than what you think, but we got there in the end, and I'm really pleased with the team I've picked. This is, this is Stephen Gerrard's 11 then. Uh, so there were a few must picks that went in that you've mentioned, uh, and only a couple that we've seen in the Premier League, I suppose, Stephen, in Vincent Company. Uh, Roy Keane, who you'd have obviously gone up against, did he have to be in there, Roy? Yeah, he, he was a say to go in there. Obviously, he was someone who I, I was a big fan of growing up and, and studied his game a lot and, and really enjoyed a lot of battles against him. He, he was a top player. Um, I don't think he'd appreciated how good he was until you were actually directly up against him to see how fit and strong he was and box-to-box -box midfielder. So he had to go in. And I think you can tell by my team I'm a little bit younger than, than, than Kara because I've gone for a few more that are, are still playing now. Uh, where I think he showed his age there going for a few oldies. <laughs> hmm. uh, great hair, Stephen, in the beard as well. Um, and the one <laughs> Liverpool player that you've gone for... Do, we, is do, do another back. button undone there, Dave. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone in Tell there? Tell us about Andy Who's Robertson. Who was, was in there originally? Who was a big player then? So you mentioned Zidane, did you say um, before? Yeah, I tried to get Lam in from, from Bayern Munich. Um, I tried to get Zidane in, but, you know, I obviously wanted to front load it and try and get more goals in the team. But there was, there was always someone who would text me and say, no, that's not allowed. You, you can't have that because they played together and played together when I didn't know. So I think when people have a go with this challenge, you, you'll realise how difficult it is. And um, I think you'd have yeah. to give and take in certain positions to, to get some of your, your big hitters in. I, I haven't seen Del Piero on anyone else's team, to be fair. That's a, that's a good shout. I didn't, uh, didn't think of that one, Del Piero. Yeah, I had to go back to my old Channel 4 days when you know you used to put the Channel 4 on and watch the, the Italian footy and the smoky pitches and, and you see Del Piero whipping free kicks in. I actually met him in LA uh, a few years back and he's an absolute gentleman and what a player he was. <laughs> 